10 year note treasury yields rose again today, eclipsing as high as 380. That's as high as we've been since March 10th and almost fully reverses the move that we saw since the early March banking crisis ensued. We aren't quite back there yet, but the retracement is very close and as close as it's been since the early part of March. Again, seeing yields rise up to 380 and up over 35 basis points over the last couple of weeks. A couple of things on that happened today. We did get some higher inflation readings. Likewise, there continues to be this market shift back towards the Fed being more hawkish, being with the potential for more rate hikes down the road, something we didn't see a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, rate hike odds for June FOMC were near zero. Today, they rest at around 50%. So a big shift in the market over the last couple of weeks. We're seeing that reflected in the Fed odds. We're also seeing that reflected in higher treasury yields. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. And you'll notice that volatility has made a surge higher as yields are moving higher. And part of it is because yields are higher, but the other part is the speed of the move. We saw yields move rapidly higher over the last week or so, and that is giving volatility a bit. So volatility bidding as yields are rising. Lastly, let's talk about what we have to end the week tomorrow. Well, we get personal income and spending. We do get the PCE data tomorrow, which will give us the Fed's uh, preferred inflation gauge. Likewise, we get durable goods. So we have a lot on our ha on our on to watch here tomorrow as yields are teetering on the highs, or at least the highest that we've seen since March 10th. So nearing the end of the week, we see 10-year note treasury yields push to 380 for the first time since early March, ahead of tomorrow's personal income and spending, PCE data, and durable goods.